everybody, thanks for coming back for episode two. We're continuing on the stream now. I have done nothing off stream other than eat a sandwich and fix technical difficulties for about an hour flat. It's time to get back to the my career mode. Uh, chat seemed to really enjoy that match. I really enjoyed that match. Um, let's, let's continue. Hi, YouTube. Um, so did we get paid for that match? VC none. We didn't get paid for our first television match? Come on. I call bullshit. Okay. Damage recovery. Damage recovery seems to be more powerful in this game than it was in the previous one. Damage recovery seemed really minor in the last one, honestly, because um, moves did so much damage that the max would go down really fast anyway. Now that they made moves a bit weaker, so that reversals, you know, are balanced a little bit more with the reversal tokens, um, it feels like damage... Uh, damage recovery over the course of a full match will actually regenerate a decent amount of health for you. So we're an aggressive heal so far. I want to be a cowardly heal if we can get that one to be maxed out. So it looks like we're against, uh, Sin Cara. What's the main event? Finn Balor versus Kevin Owens. That's going to be a good match. Doesn't say it's for the title. All right, let's do our match. Um, we'll have entrances on again. I want to see if it gives me the option to do a run-in. Could I clothesline Sin Cara out of the air during his trampoline jump? Hmm. Yeah, it's uh, Sin Cara played by Unico at this point because he's got the shoulder tattoo. Unico's a great wrestler. Although I swear that fucking mask is cursed because Unico is not a botchy wrestler. He botches quite a bit of Sin Cara. The mask is cursed. Maybe it's just really hard to see through that thing. I don't know. But Unico's a great wrestler. I like him a lot. NXT in Iraq. I'm pretty sure that this is the NXT arena in Orlando, Florida. Not fucking Iraq. But okay. In fact, I don't think NXT has ever toured outside of the United States. Yeah, no, you can't stop thinking of Flash Trash Episode 5. Sin Cara, no! Yeah, when Sin Cara hung himself in an episode of Flash Trash, that was great. What do I think of Alberto Del Rio being back in WWE? It's very interesting because he's still AAA uh, champion in Mexico. He's... Do you see that on screen? little flickering volume meter? Let me just, uh... Oh. Oh, that's glitched out. Oh, that's glitched out hard. Fixed it! Sorry. Oh. Did the whole screen flicker for a second? That was weird. Okay, we're good now. That freaked me out a little bit. My The pyro went off and my controller rumbled. <laughs> now, it doesn't say break, it, break out anywhere, so I don't think I can ambush him. Nah, can't ambush him yet. Don't have that unlocked, I guess. Oh yeah, he doesn't jump over the top rope anymore. He does that thing instead. Hey chat, did I remember to turn off the break screen? I just realized I might have left it on. I think they'd be yelling at me if I forgot. All right. Oh. Hi. Hi, Breeze. Wow, your eyes are... Your mouth is really wide open. Is... Do, Sin Cara was saying, like, bring it. Is... Are, are neither of us on his side? I, I don't know. I'm a heel and he's a heel, so I don't know. Maybe we're uh, going to team up against Sin Cara. Oh, slipped at the back. No! Ugh, I really need that strike speed up. Jawbreaker there. Plow through him. I'm gonna throw him down onto uh, Prince Pretty there. See if uh, Tyler Breeze takes care of him. Oh. What's he doing? Is he gonna hit him? Will it be a DQ if he hits him? It might be. He helped him up, and then he got away. Are they on the same side? I think they might be on the same side. Oh. 
I did get a new follower, and I will not read off the name. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Tyler Breeze, when he was uh, jaw jacking with me there, it actually took away my ability to control. That's interesting. Also, I totally fucked up countering that power bomb. But if you guys saw, there was a red reversal point during it, which means I could have done an extra strong reversal if I had timed it right. But the timing is really hard on those. Plow through him with the shoulder block. So, I don't know if he can yell at me like that if I don't get close to him. So maybe if I stay away from Tyler Breeze, that would be better. Scoop slam. And into the corkscrew elbow drop. Love it. So the star things in the corner, uh, that is our match rating. As it goes up, uh, the fans will like the match more, which will get me more fans. And I believe increase my pay. Popularity is an important statistic. Christ, Sin Car, since when are you the kind of guy to stomp a dude in the head? God, that's a regular move for you? He hit me with a fucking C4. Alright, Jawbreaker. Hitting the strong grapples now. God, he elbowed me in the back of the head. These new counter animations are really good. Ah, I was looking for the mid-move reversal point on that one and missed it. I think it's right before the lift, maybe. Yeah, I don't know if this game advances by Twitter followers like the previous one. I, I don't know yet. I gotta stop looking at the chat so much. This game's a lot harder than the previous one. I gotta pay closer attention to the match. Ooh, nice dragon screw there. There we go, cross arm bar. I don't have amazing submissions. Oh, right. I'm, as, <laughs> I was treating it as if I'm, I was uh, the one avoiding it. I need to get used to that. C4 is the name of a wrestling move, for anyone wondering, because people seem confused. Ah, I went for a back elbow. The new back elbow animation off the ropes is really good. Eyelash and eye! There we go. Sit out face buster. That was good. Oh shit, I'm out of reversal tokens. Actually, we're both out of reversal tokens now. Boom! Yeah! I got him down. Let's take advantage. Neither of us can reverse, so I gotta really stay on top of him. Do damage while he can't fight back. That's right. Work the headlock. Wipe out his stamina so he can't go diving on me. His shoulders are totally down right now, by the way. So that was the first uh, rest hold you've seen. They call it working locks. Fuck. Oh, did I counter it in time? No. Shit, I was going to go for my chop block, and uh, Tyler Breeze started yelling at me. Boom! Blow out the knee. Is he? I think he was just... Was he just doing that to distract the ref, or did he actually take the turnbuckle pad off? Let's see. Nah, he was just distracting the ref. Let's do a big move. Oh, shit. Oh shit, I have no reversal tokens! Lucha arm drag off the top. That's not the most dangerous move in the world. I thought he was gonna do something scary. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you and your fucking signature. God damn it, I was gonna go for my finisher too. He pulls me across the whole ring when he does this. Like, I'm not controlling my dude right now. Oh shit. Ow. I got no reversals. At least Sinkar doesn't have a signature or finisher. Oh, come on, he's yelling at me again. He's allowed to do this too much. Ref, eject him. Ow. Uh, oh, he hit. It just looked weird. Fuck you. Reel him back into the Samoan drop, classic man bar style. I'm getting pissed with... <laughs> With Breeze. Fuck you! Plowed through him with my knee. Ah, shit. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, Breeze. Hasn't even got a one count on me. Again, we're undefeated so far. We're 1 0 so far. We've won one official match. Neckbreaker. I think we can put him away soon. Running Neckbreaker. 
Into the- Oh, he's gonna go for the Crobot Neckbreaker and he's yelling at me again. Come on, game! This is a little bit ridiculous at this point. Also, the eyelash in my eye is killing me. This is the worst time to have an eyelash in my eye. I know it sounds like a shitty excuse, but... There's genuinely an eyelash in my eye. German suplex! I'm gonna stand very far away from Tyler Breeze. Let my opponent come to me. <laughs> he ran right into that back elbow. Alright, cravat neck breaker. Nice, I got a reversal token and I'm going for it. The man breaker. Let's put him away. Killed him. Ooh, replay, nice. Count it! Ref, you gonna eject him from the building yet? Motherfucker! He pulled the ref out of the ring. God damn it, I went for a belly to belly. Oh shit, C4. My health is low. Don't let it. Don't let this be my first loss. Do not let my first loss be to Sin Cara in my second match. Oh. Did he get ejected from ringside? He pulled the ref out by his foot. That should be a fucking DQ. You don't put your hands on the ref. Shit, I'm, I'm really fucking this up. I'm on tilt. I think he's out of the ring. He's gone, he's gone. The ref ejected him. Fuck you. Let's do something big. Counter this one, motherfucker. Let's go for a superplex off the top rope. Kill him. Boom. Two, three. Yeah, we're two and oh. Man Bart doesn't lose matches, guys. I don't know why you're even watching this playthrough. You know what the, the end result of every match is going to be Man Bar wins in dominating fashion. That was actually a really back and forth match. I thought I was going to lose genuinely there. Got to give it credit. Uh, both that match and the previous match uh, had some real good back and forth in them. Like there were there were genuine moments when I thought I was going to lose both matches. I wonder when my first loss will come. And by that I mean it'll never occur. I will never lose, I'm a flawless human being and I'm flawless in video games. <laughs> Lol, man, bar wins. I know this game is fucking awesome, isn't it? I'm having so much fun. The controls are good. The new mechanics just feel like they fit. Yeah, Manbar did literally lose 200 pounds. He used to be 400 pounds. People were saying, why don't you play as a lighter character this time? Like, um, you know, you did the super heavyweight style, now do like a cruiserweight style. So I did light heavyweight, went 200 pounds. So he's been slimming down, massive cardio. He's dropped his body weight in half for this series. So he's now light heavyweight, very different play style. Oh man, that was fun. This is a new victory animation. This wasn't in the previous game. That's interesting. So we got a four-star match. That's not bad. That was difficult, actually, to get that four-star match. Had to really work for that one. Is a cutscene gonna happen? Oh, I thought I was gonna get ambushed by Breeze or something. So Breeze hates my guts. Sink Hara doesn't like me either. Weird that Breeze hates me. We're both heels and everyone else who doesn't like me is a face. Strange. Most useless Dream Ball Z move I could get? I don't know. I'd have to think about it. It was Hercule, uh, Hercule's Dynamite Punch. Tonight. Let's talk about Tyler Breeze. Did he ambushed you tonight twitch? during your own match. Have anything to share on that? Cameraman, tilt down a little bit. <laughs> Too much headroom. What do I think with Tyler Breeze? I'm a professional. Suspend him now! <laughs> That's hilarious. Why do they never do that in wrestling? Why are they never like, uh, oh, can you arrest this man? He ambushed me. I'm totally gonna do that. Suspend him now. That's funny. What he did was a travesty. 
I expect the authority to fine him and suspend him. If they don't, I'm taking this matter into my own hands. Nobody wants that, not even the authority. Disrespectful and egotistical. I want those traits. You were voted as a top 10 favorite superstar by the WWE Universe. I have two matches. Can you some words about that? Uh, maybe leave that one for when I'm a champion. I don't care what they think. Fuck them. I don't care what the WWE Universe thinks. They mean nothing to me. The only thing that matters is the WWE Championship, not popularity contests voted by people that have no life. Dude, you're going for the NXT title. Doesn't that matter to you? <laughs> there you have it. Back to you, Cole. Can you change the voice at all? Not as far as I'm aware. Yeah, man, Bar learned how to talk. It took him a long time. Weird he doesn't have a Sw uh, Swiss accent. Apparently I got a trophy. I don't even know what I did. I don't think he sounds like Jawan. So you could have a huge black guy with that voice? I think so, yeah. It's kind of like how in the NBA 2K games, um, Hero of the Heroes Wrestling Podcast has been doing playthroughs of those. Um, in the NBA games, you can pick between three male voices, but all of them are clearly like black guys voicing it with very distinct like American black accents. But you can play as a white guy, so he plays as a white guy, but no matter what you do, you sound black. It's really funny. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get our stats up. Wait, did I get another trait? I'm now super disrespectful and egotistical. I was hoping I would get those in smaller increments than maxing it out instantly. Maybe maybe it'll just like max it out the first time I do any of them, and then from there on I can move it more. I don't know. Um. Okay, so we didn't get many points from that actually. Maybe I should save up for another ability. Oh, we don't have the money. We don't we don't even get paid yet. We might as well spend it on stats, then. Um, hmm. What's really cheap that's really good? Grapple offense. There we go. Some grapple offense and some running offense. Just a little bit. But it's good, uh, because... Uh, two of our... Uh, one of our signatures and our finisher both uh, dictate their power by grapple offense. So we want that stronger. We got a one on one with Tyler Breeze tonight. Yeah, the bleeps and bloops are a little bit annoying. Yes, this is being cut up and put on YouTube. First episode should go out the day of this stream. If I can get it edited in time, I really hope I can. Oh my god, I didn't know that. Your family in the NBA games is black, even if your character is white? I guess you're adopted then. That's amazing. You know, Fallout 2, or no, Fallout 3 had parents of different ethnicities depending on your ethnicity. Why can't fucking NBA have that? I think we can skip my entrance on this one. It's time to start speeding things up. Again, no loading screen between entrances. They just skip right past that. It's nice. Should we? No, we gotta watch Tyler Breeze's entrance for the first time. We gotta at least watch it the first time, even if we can't ambush him. Because he's got one of the greatest entrances in WWE history. Hope I can find a MIDI version of his song for YouTube. It would suck having this to complete silence even on YouTube. Hey, Metalizer. No, your, your parents wouldn't magically change skin tone. Um, they made, at least in the patched versions, they made it so your dad is in, like, is in, um, what's it called? Your dad is, like, really poorly lit in the room he's in when you see him as a baby, and then you pick what you look like, and then from then on, he's in well-lit places. Yes, he does have a selfie stick. In fact, if you look carefully, and this is what they do in WWE programming too, which is really awesome, his phone that's looking at him has a live feed to the Titantron. 
So the Titantron is always whatever his camera sees of him. It's really cool. Tyler Breeze is one of my favorite wrestlers in WWE right now. He's fantastic. Just recently came up to uh, the main roster, too, so that's pretty cool. I hope they treat him well, because uh, he's a big deal in NXT. All right, it's time for this match. So his finisher is the beauty shot. He's only got one finisher in this game. Um, so he's got the beauty shot, which is a running strike. It's a running wheel kick. So we got to be careful of that. Kind of hard to see that one coming. He looks like a prick. Well, he is a heel. So he is supposed to be a villain. So I'm thinking we work the leg this match. Let's try and take out his, uh, his beauty shot. Break his knee. We do have that chop block signature. He hasn't reversed anything yet. We had the same amount of reversal tokens, so I don't need to be quite as cautious with them. Come on, Breeze. Oh, ah, I went for a snapmare there. Going for a pinfall already, Breeze. Oh, you heal motherfucker. You see, he pulled me back up to Tommy. You know what? Maybe I'll do that to him in this match, too. Decked him. Now, pull him up. Let's crank the neck. Two hands. Just snap it. Oh, that looks painful. Wear him down. Straight up murder this man. I like how I'm using the force to, like, pull his jaw. I'm not actually touching him there. That's a problem that happens a lot with creator wrestlers, especially, unfortunately. It's every fucking WWE game has that issue. I dodged it! What was he going for? A kitchen sink, I think? Neckbreaker. Love a good neckbreaker. Oh, shit. What was that? I think I gouged his eye? I don't know. I thought he was going to elbow me. Oh, I was going to go for my elbow drop, but he... Yeah, European uppercut. Oh, shit. Snapmare takeover. 12-6 elbow to the back of the head. Fuck you. God, that is a good gut kick. Stinger splash in the corner. Yeah. Oh. Oh, shit. Ow. Threw my shoulder into the mat. There we go. Fuck you, Breeze. Gouge the eyes. God, I'm like fish hooking him. Manhandler! Let's do some damage! Old school man bar style. Uh, oh god, we need more submission skill. That's not working. Fucking DDT'd me. Nope. Fuck you. Get out of my ring. Get up, Breeze. Chop block. Blow out his knee with my full body weight right into it. It's not supposed to bend that way. Get the fuck up now. Stay down for a decent amount of time there. Inverted atomic drop. Whoa! Arm drag! Ah, shit. I thought I got that one time. Oh! He's trying to get me in a working hold. Shit, he's got me in the chin lock. He's gonna kill my stamina. God, that really drains it fast. I got out of it, though. And you do get a decent amount of momentum getting out of one. God damn it, Breeze. Yeah, there we go. You know, two can play that game. Snapmare into the headlock. I 
Doesn't do much damage, but it's great for wiping out stamina. There we go. Got a full one in. If you get it three times in a row, then you do the release. I think we're about ready to finish him off. Manbreaker! I'm happy with a three-star match. Looks like that's how that's, this is going to end if I get the pin here. Yeah! That's our third victory, everybody. Count it. We're 3-0, and undefeated. Uh, since you make it here, apparently, will you be unlocking all the obligatory heal cheating tactics to get around the fact that heals can never win in big matches cleanly in WWE? Uh, well, I will be doing dirty pins, because those look fun. Why does he dress like he is gay? He, he doesn't. I would debate that gay people on average probably don't dress in any special way. same winning animation as before? Yeah, yeah, we can skip that. If nothing special is going to happen, we can skip it. Yes, Manbar is now 200 pounds rather than 400. He is now a light heavyweight, so we have a different play style for this playthrough. Uh, can you go into my career mode with a created diva? I do not believe so, no. Your rank increased! Attention! That's a really weird statement, but I understand what it means. Um, yeah, we got went up a rank. We're above Tyler Breeze now. Our stats are way lower than everyone else, though. Man! Kevin Owens' uh, stats are way above most of these guys, which I guess makes sense. He is a big deal. Fandango versus Kevin Owens, Superstar 2 won. You couldn't just make the name of the winner glow or something? Okay, weird.